Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Better Love. I'm your host, Dr. Greg. Today, we're jumping back into our conversation with Haley Almeida, talking about dating and nature with getting outside in the fresh air and spending time in nature. I tell you about your match. Before we get back to that conversation, I want to briefly talk about safety and dating. Number one, you get to set your own pace, and so you should move at a pace that seems comfortable to you. And what I would suggest over the first couple, two, three times that you meet with someone new, that you do that in a public place. And if you're going out for a hike, maybe you pick a trail that's got a lot of folks on the trail versus a more remote uh, location. I would say being in control of your transportation is, is a good one. So drive your car to the location that you're going to spend uh, time out in nature, whether that's the beach or whatever it is, or make sure that you're going to be in a spot where there's enough reception or Wi-Fi so you can order and use a, a rideshare app if that's your transportation option. Those are just a few of the many safety tips that you could read about online. If you're online dating or you're on one of the apps, I would suggest going to check out the safe uh, dating advice that they might have on those platforms. Uh, it's readily available. It's good information. I would recommend you look at it. All right, let's get back to Haley and see what she has to say about dates and nature. What are your thoughts about setting up a date for the first time, second time with someone you're just getting to know? Yeah, dates in nature. I mean, I think it's a great way to find an activity to do together. You know, nature, whether it's sightseeing, going for a walk, um, trying a new activity like surfing together, you know, or doing a yoga class on the beach or I mean, there's yeah, so yoga. Many I can see surfing together. I can't fathom, but <laughs> <laughs> that's because I, I barely know. have I mean, gotten on the board. So, yeah, I mean, personally for me, I've had a really good experience with that where I feel like it can create this bond, you know, this connection of like, you're having fun, you're learning together. And mm -hmm. I think that that naturally can bring up some really good things, you know, between between the two. But, you know, dating in nature, I think that that's a great way to kind of get to know a person too, because yeah. when you're in nature, I think it really brings you back to yourself and can sometimes bring up things in people that they don't realize can come up, you know, or like they're not expecting to come up. You're kind of seeing that person in a in a light that's pretty authentic mm. in my opinion and yeah yeah i've had experiences myself where you know i've gone on a date and we might be walking along the beach and i feel really connected to who i am when i'm in nature and so i like to kind of see how that person is when they're in that environment i feel mm. like it has a lot to say about that person you know how they respond in in a situation of being in nature and that can kind of show you a lot about that person, you know? You know, there's times where, I mean, I've been on trail hiking and I'll run into a couple fighting and it can it can be a little bit like awkward on my part to, to be witnessing it, but it's interesting because again, I think hiking and being out in nature can bring certain things up that can sometimes um, be interesting to face. It's so, so important for us to be able to put down the social media, put down the cell phone, and just spend time with somebody without any other stimulation other than the, the birds singing in the sky. When we do that, I think it takes away the distractions, right? You know, you might be able to be charming across the table at a, a dinner date, but what it, what does it mean when you get to a tough part in a trail and you have to help each other over an obstacle or whatever it is you know how do you handle that how do you problem solve together Haley you mentioned this idea of coming back to yourself or coming to yourself and I just wondered if you could clarify what you mean by that because I think it might be an important element what I mean when I say that is you're checking in with your authentic self right and who you truly are and whatever may come up within that and also just going back to what you just said I found it very interesting if you're on trail and it comes to a certain point where there might be a difficult obstacle to get over it's very metaphorical right it's mm -hmm. almost like nature is a mirror in in that sense where there's going to be adversities that pop up pop up in the relationships and how do you respond to that um and I think that on trail or in nature when something like that comes up again it shows a lot about who you are and how you're able to kind of handle those situations and adversities when they may pop up that's all the time we're going to spend on this topic for now 
In next episode, we'll dive back into this conversation with Haley, talking about longer term relationships and how to effectively navigate obstacles that will inevitably come our way in long term relationships. Definitely tune in for that. Subscribe to the podcast if you're not already subscribed. Visit us at A Better Love Project on TikTok and Instagram. Ask us any of your relationship questions. We'll get to it. And if you're interested in being a guest on our podcast, we'd love to have your input on timely, important relationship topics. So definitely let us know. Send us an email, greg at a better love project.org or connect to us on any of our platforms at a better love project. Like keep getting outside. Uh, bring your dates outside to vet them <laughs> and get clear on your values so you can show up for them. Until next time, I'm Dr. Greg. Love each other fiercely. <laughs>